amigos, and welcome to this week's Hot Topic. I'm Rodrigo Rodriguez. With me today is Warren Diego. We've got uh, Vinny Venezuela right up the front there, and Carlos Alberto Diego. You're in business class, Vinny Venezuela. <laughs> hey. For once, this is the pecking order of the Diego. One, two, three, four. four. It doesn't matter where he sits, he floats. So, let's get into the Hot Topic of the week, and uh, really... I think uh, as Diego's, uh, we, over the years, we've been big, big fans of Vincenzo Grella. And uh, this week he announced his retirement from the game, uh, obviously due to injury, but uh, really, really fantastic career. But sad to see him leave just before the Melbourne Derby. That was his motivation to, you know, really play the Melbourne Derby. But, uh, you know, his injuries have crueled him throughout the, the last five years of his career. Carlos, what a great career, though. What a fantastic career. I was lucky enough to rub shoulders with Vinnie Grella, not on the playing field, by the way, just watching him train as an 18-year-old in the old Carlton days in the old uh, National Soccer League. And no... Uh, out of the Rat Pack at that time, there was Simon Colosimo, who was a Rolls-Royce. We had Mark Bresciano, who was another Rolls-Royce. And Vinnie Grella was almost your Datsun, uh, <laughs> but he was a bloke who willed himself on over and over. And when he went over to Italy, not many people had faith in him. Uh, but 10-year professional in Italy, a uh, lucrative contract uh, with Blackburn Rovers, all, you know, albeit that he didn't play much. Uh, in the 2006 World Cup, he was uh, voted in the top 60 players of the tournament uh, for the FIFA All-Star team. Uh, what a fantastic uh, uh, player uh, of integrity and pride. And the way he went about it was just a, such an honest way of, uh, of playing the game. Carlos, you forgot to mention that he was the soccer who got to wear the ice jacket first <laughs> whenever we were playing in extreme heat conditions. <laughs> That's right. He didn't like the hot weather. He didn't like the hot weather. It's funny because he was... You sometimes got the impression of him being a bit of a hard man, you know, a guy who kicked people. But he had respect not just because he was hard and he kicked people, because he was a perpetual movement, high energy, like very fit and and very hard working midfielder who gained respect from anyone he played against because of that hard work and, and effort. But I did always like that edge with Finney. You just knew if there was a job to be done, if he had to hurt, he had to do a job or maybe even kick somebody if he had to, he'd be the man who'd do it. What, what was the highlight of his career, though? Uh, obviously played in Italy for, for quite a while. Uh, you know, obviously World Cup as well, Carlos, you mentioned, but uh, what would he see as the highlight? I'd love to ask him this question himself, but uh, what, yeah. what is the highlight? Uh, look, I, I, we did, the problem with the Australians playing at a top level in Italy in City A week in, week out, we don't see them. So for him to be such a professional and a regular in City A mm. during the good times of City A, uh, and he went from Empoli and he played at Parma, you know, he spent a bit of time at Torino and so forth. Uh, I reckon some of his best football must have been there. And being a hard man in that defensive midfield role in Italy, I mean, they only picked the best for that, you know, the mm. Gattuso types and stuff like that. And he held that position week in, week out. And I was also would say the 2006 World Cup. Uh, he was brilliant in that World Cup, so important to the, to the Australian squad and good hitting. Uh, I think those two things, but I'd love to hear his response to that. He was also one of the only soccer, well, the only soccer in that World Cup to make the uh, one of the you know the mm. t player yeah. team of the tournament squad, and he was yeah. the only soccer name. So mm. obviously that was a fantastic World Cup for him as a player, but also as an Australian. It was terrific for for us. All Working around. with Carlos at Carlton, I think, would probably rank in the top three. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. I think uh, Vinny would be honest enough to. Admit that. I think he's probably eaten too much parmigiana over his uh, <laughs> Yeah, loves his parmigiana. Yeah. But just on the Carlton thing, uh, what I did grow to learn about Vinny, and apparently from speaking to him more recently, he hasn't changed much, is he, he's a really sore loser. He really hates, hates losing to the point where he absolutely harangues his players and coaches uh, to the point where they just get sometimes sick of him in the change room. So, But that's just that will to win, the will to get better, the will for his team to get better. And you've got to admire people like that in the change room. Uh, the, the leadership that he could have offered Hart if, he was, if his body was good was something that could have actually made him make the finals and actually go deep into the finals. So it's a sad way of ending. All I can say is that there was only ever room for one Vinny in world soccer, and I'm glad you're going, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd retire first, uh, Vinny Venezuela, but... Uh, Hey, let's, uh, let's end this off topic, and as Diego's uh, to you, Vinny uh, Grella, congratulations on a fantastic year. We'll miss you on the pitch, but uh, hopefully we can get to talk to you in the next uh, couple of months to just really round out your career, Diego style. <laughs> Until next time, ole! ole!